Hi, I'm George, I work for Solid Print 3D. Today I'm here in our head office in Leamington Spa, and we've just had the Form 3L delivered to us, and we'll be unboxing it today. Let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna have a look at all the bits that was on, sitting on top of this printer and we got it. So we'll start off with the build platform. Get it out of the box. So yeah, really big build plate, really nice. And uh, like all the other printers, it just slots in to the top and will lock in place. Uh, these two handles make it really Really nice and easy to carry. Uh, the other two and three both have the handles on there, which is all right for the size of the build plate, but this really, really helps. So that'll be great when we get that installed. Okay, so we've got the build plate and we've, we've had a look at that. That's really good. We're now gonna move on to the finish kit. So this one is a post-processing kit. Uh, that'll be used for after when you finish your print, we'll then give it a wash and a cure. Um, Let's have a look what's inside here. It's got a little lid to it. Put it on the tray. So, swirl. It just looks like it's the wash, so you can put your the alcohol solution in there and then the uh, 3D print part will go in and that will need to soak in there and wash on. Uh, it looks like it's about the same size as the build volume so I imagine you just pop them off and pop the prints in there and leave the lid on. So uh, yeah, it looks all good. Uh, let's move on to the next part of the finishing kit. Okay, so now we've got the box unpacked. We found this tray at the bottom. This is the drying tray, which we we'll put the print on after you've washed it. We've also got some nitrile gloves. Good selection of these. That'll be great for when we're rinsing it. Some scrapers, two, two different ones, which look really good for getting the print off the bed. And some snippers. This is the, uh, the jig for, uh, for the salt, uh, build platform. And we have a rinse bottle, a tank tool, and the solvent pump, which uh, goes into the to the tank. We've now got the last box. Uh, not sure what's in this one, it's not got a label, so let's check it out. Okay, so this looks like the resin tank to come with it. There we go. So this is the shows the full size of the 3L. Um, yeah, really big resin tank, about double the size of what a Form 3 would, would produce. So uh, yeah, that's really exciting. We can get that loaded up once we've got the, the Form 3L unpacked. Okay, so we've got through all the wash kits, looked at the build platform and had a look at the resin tank. So we'll go into the resin tank a bit later once we've got this open. Uh, so I think it's time to crack on with the Form 3L. Let's get those boxes in. Okay, so thanks for, with some help, we managed to get this up onto the table. And uh, yeah, as you can see, in comparison to the four three, it's a lot bigger. It's almost double the size. Um, so yeah, we've got this cup on and uh, let's take it off. There we go. So yeah, really, really nice design for this. Um, Yeah, so we've got the, the main unit down there, which will be where your laser's housed and uh, which will be putting it onto where the build plate will slide onto. Uh, we'll get more on that in a minute. Uh, and we'll just pull up any other bits we can find of the packaging. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, we'll look at more detail in a minute. So congratulations on your new formalized printer. And let's get into the beginning setting up. 
So it's confirming that you removed the entire protective, which we have. And we need to insert the antenna connector. So that's what we're going for. Okay, so we've now got the printer successfully connected to the Wi-Fi. So we can go next on this. So here we go. So we're going to talk about making sure the bed is level now. Okay, so we're going to put the leveling disc by the foot and we'll just spin this gently. I'm just checking the screen to make sure it goes blue. Okay, so it was just this foot that was just off. And we can now see that we have all four dots are blue and the central dot is grey. So we can now press skip and we're all good for that. Okay, so we've got the resin tank which we've looked at earlier. This is the mixer and we're just gonna follow the instructions as it says. We'll take this out and actually pop that in like so, so it's on there. Okay, so we can get rid of that. And now, not touching the bottom of the, of the base, we're going to take out the bill, uh, resin tank even. Just need to open this. Slide it in. So you can see the logos facing towards us, and then you just sort of really easy. It's probably the most simplest formula printer I've worked with. Um, putting in the resin tank, and uh, we can see now that that has been installed. Okay, so this is the build platform that we have, and we can see which way it slides in. So we want it to slide in like so, and it just slides in nice and tight, and then locks in. Okay, so just need to loosen that up to let some air in, and we're gonna go into the right one first, and just slot that in place. So, we have a gravy for cartridge inserted into the right, that's great. And then we need to do the next one. So we'll hit next. Give it a shake. Put this one to the left hand side. Okay, they just sit nice in there. Gotta wait for the register. Okay, it's all in. Yep, so we've removed the orange caps, lowered them in until we've prepared the sound. Okay, so now we've got the code which the printer's given us. This will be inputted into Formlabs dashboard where we can see how much resin we've used, how the prints that we've done, and everything like that. It will all be, all be registered on there. So we'll get that typed in and, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so the Form 3L is the big brother to the Form 3. So looking into the Form 3L in a bit more detail, it uses exactly the same process using low force stereo lithography, where the build platform will go into the resin tank. The resin tank has a flexible membrane and the light processing unit, or should I say light processing unit. The idea is these light processing units move along the base of the resin tank and help just reduce any force onto that build platform. So when it lifts up, no prints should stick to the resin tank. The final thing to talk about is the resin cartridges that we have. We have two gray resins loaded into this, which we loaded in earlier. They're the same standard resin cartridges that we use on the Form 2 and the Form 3, except with the Form 3L, we just need two of these that go in. Okay, so we've looked at the Form 3L in a bit more detail and here I've got an example part of from the Form 3L. This shows the size that it can print in. As you can see, it can produce really large parts and you could have multiple ones of these on the build plate. The quality of this print is really good. Uh, it's, you can't hardly see any support marks on it and uh, the layer quality has been really nice. And we've got something here that is as good as quality as being injector molded really. Um, really impressive stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. If you're interested in the Form 3L, please get in touch with one of our experts and I'll be happy to talk you through any more details about this printer. The links are below in the description. Please like and subscribe and thank you for watching. We'll have more content, hopefully use the 3L, going soon. Thank you.